I do my share of traveling, so staying home is a treat. The solitude, the freedom of thought to contemplate any possibility, the joy of just being left alone. Well, there are times when being alone is not so nice. There are times when a like-minded company would be nice, would be very nice. But be that as it may, home is a very nice place to be. Today, after staying indoors for most of the morning, I decided to grab a camera and go outside. As usual, allowing nature and the universe to dictate what I should shoot. And, as usual, I was not disappointed. I was greeted to a monarch butterfly who was eager to be on camera. Take a look at him, or her. Thank you, Madame Butterfly. Oh, never mind, Puccini. I am very happy to be your company today. And in spite of your damaged wing, I think you're beautiful, I think you're gorgeous, and I'm going to enjoy being in your company. Insects in general are beautiful, I think. There are over one million known species, with the emphasis on the word known. I think there are a lot more insects yet to be discovered. And of all the insects, butterflies are my favorite all 18,000 species worldwide. In the United States there are about 750 species of butterflies and of those my all-time favorite is a monarch. It's regal, magnificent, colorful, beautiful, all good reasons to love the monarch but there's also the metaphysical reason why the monarch is so very special. By the way before I go any further Please, do not take anything that I say at face value. Look up the information for yourself. One of the major reasons why there is so much turmoil in the world is because of intellectual laziness. People believe in all kinds of stuff, all kinds of myth. And their beliefs, based on ignorance, are used to do all kinds of atrocities because these myths, these fantasies, these embellished stories of dead people are in a book. I have written a book or two myself, albeit very tiny ones, but one in particular, The Urban Turban by Dave Clark, is all fiction. It's a cheap e-book. Read it for yourself and you'll see what I mean. Oh, well, but I'm strained from my beautiful monarch butterfly. I would suggest that you read everything you can about this mystical insect. I say mystical because... Monarch butterflies go through four stages during one life cycle. That's right, four stages for each life cycle. And they also go through four generations in one year. That is a part of its mystique. The first generation is born on a tree in Mexico, usually. That first generation goes through four life cycles, as I said. They are the egg, the larva or the caterpillar, the pupa, chrysalis, and then the adult butterfly. Each stage totally different from the previous. The four generations are usually four different butterflies going through these four stages during one year until it is time to start over again with stage one and generation one. But here's the thing. Even though the first generation butterfly will fly north as an adult, laying it living for maybe two to six weeks as you go through a life cycle. And so it is also for the second and third generation. Then there is a fourth generation, what I call the magical generation. This generation will fly back to the very same tree where the first generation life began. How is that possible? Yes, the migrations of the different generations will take it north and then the fourth generation returns again to the same tree in Mexico. Think about that. The monarch butterfly is really amazing. Okay, this is my personal belief. I think that the monarch butterfly was placed on earth as proof that our spirit lives on and that no matter what your belief system is, that you are responsible for your own behavior, your own action, and that these actions, these behaviors, are predictable. Their causes and their effects. In other words, karma. 
Now, don't take my word for any of this. Read everything you can about the monarch butterfly, then reach your own conclusions. A word of caution is in order here. Every single article you read will inject personal points of view. Either information will be left out, twisted, embellished, or will be cleverly disguised as something other than what it is supposed to be. I mention this because when it comes to the monarch butterfly, read many different articles with different points of view and then decide for yourself, okay? Well, by the way, I'm a pretty shy person myself, and I never know how to start a conversation when I'm with strangers. One thing that I use to break the ice is to wait for the moment and then ask that important question. So, are you a lover of nature? And if you are, what do you think of the monarch butterfly? Wait for the answer or answers. Keep your mouth shut and just listen. Within two minutes, I guarantee it, within two minutes, you'll know just about everything there is to know about that person. And more importantly, you will know if that person could in fact be a kindred spirit. Yes, that is worth knowing.